Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How is interest on savings accounts calculated? Have you ever wondered how your savings account grows over time? It's all about the interest you earn, and there are two main ways this interest is calculated, simple interest and compound interest. Let's start with simple interest. This is the easiest way to understand how interest works. The formula is straightforward. Interest equals principal amount, interest rate, time. For example, if you have $10,000 in your savings account and it earns a 4% interest rate per year, the interest would be $10,000, 0.041, which equals $400. This means you'll have $10,400 at the end of the year, but the interest is only calculated on the original $10,000, not on any interest earned along the way for five. Now, let's talk about compound interest, which is a bit more complex, but can help your savings grow much faster. Compound interest is calculated on both the principal amount and any interest that has already been earned. The formula for compound interest is A equals P of one plus R N N T, where A is the ending amount, P is the principal amount, R is the interest rate as a decimal, N is the number of times interest is compounded per year, and T is the time in years two, three, five. For instance, if you have $1,000 in a savings account with a 5% APY compounded monthly, you would calculate the interest using the formula. First, convert the APY to a decimal, 5% becomes 0.05, then divide by 12, the number of months in a year, to get the monthly rate. So $1,000, 1 0.05 per 12 121s would give you $1,051.16 at the end of the year, which includes both the principal and the interest earned to three. Another important thing to note is the annual percentage yield, APY, which includes the effect of compounding. APY tells you how much interest you'll earn over a year, taking into account the compounding frequency. For example, if an account has a 4% APY compounded daily, you'll earn more interest than if it were compounded annually because the interest is added to your account more frequently. 3.5. To make the most of your savings, you can also make regular deposits. For instance, if you deposit an extra $100 a month into your savings account, over five years, this can significantly boost your total savings when combined with compound interest. So to sum it up, understanding how interest is calculated can help you make the most of your savings. Whether it's simple interest or compound interest, knowing the formulas and how they work can make a big difference in how your money grows over time. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Want the inside scoop on your neighborhood? Imagine knowing exactly what your neighbors paid or who actually owns that stunning house down the block. At countyoffice.org, you can create a free account and snoop through over 150 million property records, owner names, mortgage details, sale prices, all those things other sites make you pay for. Don't miss out on the fun. Just Google countyoffice.org property records or head to countyoffice.org directly and create your free account today. Go on. Get your snoop on.